Okay, welcome to Simple Analog Clock in Python 3 for Beginners by Tokyo EdTech. That is me. So let me show you what we're going to be working on today. And I'm going to be running this in Visual Studio Code on my Mac. So basically what we have is we have a very simple analog clock. We have our you know, hour minute ticks here. We've got uh, an hour hand, we've got a second hand, and we've got a minute hand going around. Uh, so you notice the second hand is updated every second and it just kind of goes around and this is the current time it is 9:38 and 25 seconds in the morning so let's get started um, here in part one we're going to learn how to basically just get the window started get the window up there get everything ready and then we'll move on to part two where we actually draw the clock face so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building this on top of the python turtle module which is surprisingly uh, powerful surprisingly useful so to do that we need to import the turtle module and notice it is lowercase t, not a capital T. Python is case specific. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to set up that little window that you saw. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called wn. You can call it win. You can call it I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I just use wn. It makes it easy. And this is what is called a turtle.screen object. If you don't know what object means, don't worry about that. Um, but basically, this gives us a way to access uh, the properties of that little window. And what we want to do with the window is we want to change the background color and we're going to change it to black. Again, notice the capitalization here. We're going to change the size. So win.setup and it is width equals 600 and the height equals also equals 600. You can play with those numbers, make it whatever you want, but this will work well for the numbers that I'm going to be using later in this tutorial. And I want to give it a title. And since I wrote it, I'm going to put myself in there. I'm going to call it Simple Analog Clock by at to oops, Tokyo Ed Tech. That is my Twitter handle. Feel free to uh, follow me on Twitter or definitely subscribe to me here on YouTube, assuming you're watching it on YouTube. And then what we need to do is at the very, very end of the program, I'm just going to leave some space here. We need to do something called win.mainloop. If I don't do that, the window will open and close automatically. Okay, so notice so far nothing is indented. Um, I've just left some space here because I'm going to be adding a bunch of code in the middle. And now let's run it and see what it looks like. And at this point, everything should be working just fine. Okay, so this is what we expected. We've got a window. It is 600 by 600 pixels. The title says Simple Analog Clock by at Tokyo EdTech. And again, it has not closed because we are using the wn.mainloop method. This is what's going to keep our window open. So that's all for part one. That's just getting you started. And in the next lesson, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to draw the actual clock face. And it's just a little bit of math, a little bit of geometry, uh, nothing too complex. So join us there. Talk to you soon.